Hello, everybody. Tuesday, October 1st. Just got done watching the NL wildcard game. If you're watching it, you know what? If you don't know by the time you watch this, you obviously don't care. But the Nationals beat the Brewers. They uh, rattled off eight straight wins to end the regular season. They won the play-in game. And now they're going to face the Dodgers. Didn't really have a dog in the fight. It was an interesting game. But I do think the Nationals have a better shot at beating the uh, Dodgers. And I'm not, I'm sorry if you're a Dodger fan, if you're listening or watching or whatever. But I, I sort of think of them as like the Yankees of the East or of the West, where there's just so much money and so many fans. And I don't think Pepino. Papino Man watches these videos, so I don't have to worry about offending him. But I'm just ready for the Dodgers to just kind of go away. I just either win it or go away. <laughs> Give someone else a shot. And last couple years, I just started to like really rooting against them. Um, it makes the playoffs more interesting. My team's certainly not in it. Uh, Mariners and Phillies. So you got to find a way to root for a team or against a team just to make the series a little more interesting, I've, I've found. And that's what I've always done. Because I want to watch the games. I love baseball. Two returns in today. Uh, Phoenix. And my favorite uh, sorting station, uh, North Texas. Uh, North Texas, Texas. Dallas. North Dallas, Texas. It's in Texas, and it's north. What do you think of that? Um, I don't know if you've ever, I've mentioned it before, but it seems like every, every third return I get is from this, uh, sorting station, but here we go. We got Rusty Greer, longtime Ranger. This is 83 Fleer Hardball, and this is the parallel version. It's like gold or I think it's called gold. That turned out nicely. And this is a 95 emotion, and the emotion is calculating. I don't know. Does it look calculating there to you? There's a little bit, if you look really closely, what's called ink transfer. So that is uh, when the card is thrown back in the envelope, and the ink is still nice and juicy. And basically it sticks to the back of the other card or to the... I don't see any ink. Oh, yeah. Right at the top there. See, kind of, it's kind of dirty right above the Greer. That's the ink from this. So he signed this one and then maybe threw this one on top of it. Signed it, stuffed it in the envelope. It happens. Uh, still looks pretty good. So we'll take that. And I don't think I have any of those hardball signs, hardball cards signed uh, until now. So that's kind of cool, a little different. And, of course, I have quite, quite a few of the emotions because I'm trying to get as many of those as I can. So the other one, Phoenix. Let's get right to it. A lot of rambling on today. Jim Umbarger, 79 tops. And one of my favorites, 76 tops. Played in the 70s for the Rangers. And I think, yeah, a couple innings for the A's. One year for the A's. 44 innings in 77. Traded with Rodney Scott and Cash from the Rangers to the A's in exchange for Claudel Washington, March 26, 77. Sold back to the A's, or back to Texas, August 25th. Wow. They did not want him. That's okay. I'm happy to add him to my collection. Two for two. And Rusty Greer was two for two. Those are both about two-week returns. So, AL tomorrow, who do you got? I'm not going to make a prediction. I just want to see a good game like I did today. And we'll see where that takes us once we get to the um, the division series. Anyway, uh, tomorrow's Wednesday, so there won't be a return. So, just enjoy your, enjoy your baseball, and we'll talk to you on Thursday. Bye.